if you read the title, the short answer is yes. This is my marching saxophone. It's the John Paul AS400. You've probably seen it in my videos before. In the model. I've also marched it in Odyssey FM, so two years. You've probably already seen reviews for this exact saxophone, whether it's from Saxologic or others. But none of them were about marching. So I'm gonna share to you my experiences with this saxophone in marching. Starting with the case, you have this latch here, made with velcro, so you can latch it like this, carry on its side. You have this flap at the front, so you can carry all your music. And at the back, you have these straps, which mine broke off, so I had to tie it here, but they're very useful in moving to and from the field, as it saves a lot of hassle. Compared to other cases, it doesn't have any latches, instead it's all of this zipper all around. And it's also made out of entirely foam and this cloth, so if it gets ran over, for example, it's not going to protect whatsoever. Here is the inside and the actual saxophone. The original mouthpiece and ligature were not very good, so I don't use that anymore. The only thing I do use from the original the original stuff it came with is this polishing cloth. I just stuff it in there. Here is the saxophone. First impressions, it looks a lot like the Yamaha EX or Summer Super Action, which I guess it's supposed to copy. And the keys are very loud. When I first got this saxophone, the keys were very stiff, but after using it for one whole marching season, the keys have loosened up quite a lot. One thing I do have to say is that the quality control, from my experience, is not the best. For example, the neck that fits into here doesn't always fit, and the corks all around the keys, a lot of them fall off, like, like my this key right here makes a lot of noise and some keys bend pretty easily like this key right here which got bent out of shape because the saxophone has metal resonators if you're not careful it can sound very buzzy and very bright so i guess that's a positive for jazz players and another thing is that when you're marching on the field it's a lot heavier than your typical beginner saxophones, so your arms will get tired more easily, but that's just a skill issue. Some other things I wanna point out is the inconsistent tuning on the saxophone. Normally, your, your normal D, middle D, is sharp, but on this particular saxophone, it's perfectly in pitch, so that's just a weird little nitpick and all of the palm keys and above so like an autismal register is very very sharp just on this saxophone particularly so i've also not taken it to a maintenance shop in two years so it is a little rough there is also some rusting on it somewhere but it stood, it stood up pretty well, even to the elements and the cold. I'm sure some of the keys are wonky and have leaks, but no major leaks as I've experienced. It doesn't affect the play that much. Me personally, I would not recommend it for concert use, however, as there's a lot of better options if you want to play classical and jazz. This thing is kind of just a hybrid of both. It's a jack of all trades, master of none kind of deal. So take it how you want. One more thing I'd like to add, the best comparison to the saxophone or this type of saxophone would be the Jupiter saxophones, like the tenors and berries they make. Now I'm gonna compare it to my $5,000 saxophone just for fun. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 